anything. Okay. Even that, like that? Mm -hmm. Anything. Is it okay? Just go. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Is it too big? Just right. <laughs> I'm not ruining it. Just right. <laughs> there. Uh huh. Yeah. What else? Is it that old? Um. Can we even go down or up? Okay. Okay. Maybe down um, would be nice. Mm -hmm. I'll keep quiet. You go and do your things. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> does it make I, sense? I don't know what's in your head. It does it make sense? Yes. Okay. And then another one. Okay, now shift to the right. To the right, yeah? yeah, there. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. I'm not ruining it, am I? No. Are you sure? I'll start from here. Okay. I think so. Yeah, go ahead now. Let's see. Do you remember the words? So you must translate your words to me. Thank you. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So why power? Why why? Because I felt powerful that day when I shaved my head. I started a video graphic like I wasn't even ready for skin. I let my skin breathe today. Oh. three words. Mm -hmm. You explain with the power first. Yeah. The power, like I felt powerful um, when I saw myself for the first time bald and there was kind of like a sense of it, it, it was like I didn't know how I don't know how to explain it. It was so strong. It was so strong. By the same time it was so vulnerable. Like it was so many emotions at once. Yeah. 
was like I was filled with so much emotion. So like the same time I was crying, the same time I felt relieved. <laughs> <laughs> the same time I felt relieved and jeez when you like it was my first time totally shaking off my hair and after I felt, after many years. I remember I once but it wasn't a clean shape it was just like I just cut them short mm. uh, the first time I cut my hair was 2008 it was like because I had put some chemicals in my hair and things didn't go right but this was the first time I shaved totally with a machine, clean, clean, clean. Um, Did you shave yourself or somebody else? Myself, you? myself. I have a machine myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I you mean, know, there's like, a, there's, there's like this thing like, I felt that that they're like, maybe, maybe it's true, hair has certain oh, power. Yeah, yeah, because I felt like, okay, part of me was totally gone. Part of me was not with me anymore. Mm. And I stayed with my hair for a week in a plastic bag. <laughs> I couldn't throw it away. I felt like I was throwing away a part of me, like my child or something. And even even having to, because I decided I wasn't going to throw it away, I was going to burn it. Even just having to see the hair burning, like, I totally was like... So it's oh, power of it's love that. and belonging and... It's power <laughs> of strength, love, belonging. You know, like when you, have, when you have lived a life with so much hurt, uh, when you have lived a life with... Jeez, I, until, until today, today, every time I see, every time I see the picture, it's, it's incredibly, um, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling and it's still unbelievable um, that he chose me um, as a model to, for, for his work. And I love the fact that, especially during the exhibition at the art gallery, I like the fact that how people were so driven in it. And uh, with, the, with, with, that, with that painting, it wasn't, it wasn't just about him uh, painting a model. It was about the story behind it. And everybody that saw the painting, they could actually relate to, to it. At first, though, they basically said, oh, wow, it's beautiful. But after, because especially when reading the script, the, the scripts and so on, the scribbles that were on it, um, they could relate to what they saw in the picture. And um, it's, it's I'm, I'm, still, I'm still really overwhelmed to, to have collaborated. And I'm looking forward to more collaborations with him because, like I said, not only is he an incredible um, artist, he's, he's also a, a very kind person and he, he, really, he really listens to, to, to the emotions. He doesn't only look at the figure, he doesn't only look at the details of you before he paints you. He really uh, looks at the emotions at that moment, like how you're feeling at that moment and he puts that on paper. And I think it's only a few visual artists that, that can do that. Uh, some people they basically just put uh, colors and drawings on painting without it spe speaking, um, it being, you know, emotional, if you know what I mean. So I'm just so excited and um, I hope someone really comes out and says, look, I want to buy it <laughs> because I feel like it needs to be in, in some office it, because I feel like it kind of like calms people down. Not only the smile, but just the mood of the whole painting, of the whole drawing. So I'm, I'm pretty excited still. Every time I see it, I'm still like, oh, oh my God, I still can't believe it. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, I'm really honored. Really, really honored. Yeah, when I saw the artwork for the first time in the gallery, um, as, as per different from, from the time I saw it in the studio, uh, because when I saw it in the studio for the first time as a complete art piece, yo, yo, wait, 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 did I see it completely done, done in the studio? Oh my God, it was, it was so surreal. Um, uh, not only was it beautiful, it spoke to me as if it's not me in the picture. I, I really shared, um, I, I, I was, I was basically shaking. I was shaking, I was so, you, you know, when you're so happy, but you can't really express it, and it's so many emotions going into, into, into your body. But when I saw it again, 
at the gallery, it was uh, because it was a totally different environment and with all the other paintings and with all the other artworks, it was like, um, have you ever had like a grain of rice and there's always that tiny little black rice that you just, that it was so outstanding and it, I still had emotions going on because uh, I saw the actual beauty of it. it I was still so speechless and I would stand there and people would be like, oh my God, wait, it's her. I think because, because it was standing, it was sitting on the wall with all the other paintings with the same storyline, with the same reason of it being on the wall, um, it, it kind of like just calms. I was really so overwhelmed. I really don't know how to express it because I don't really know how to express, how to explain my emotions, what I go through with that time, but I was really just so happy. Though, the, the bad thing is, I've seen it when, when half of the people were already going, when half of the people were already going out, because I, I went late, a little bit late, and so on, because of miscommunication in terms of timing, but I felt like a million dollars. <laughs> I felt like a million dollars, because I think it was, a, it was the biggest one on the wall. Yeah, it was the biggest one in the art gallery. So, I felt like, wow. I think uh, the few people, the, the, the people that came to see, I think the few people that came to see, um, um, not only, at first they'll see the picture, but then later on when they read the description, and then that's when they understood that, no, it, it has so much emotion. And they'll really stand there like, yeah, um, beyond the smile, we could actually see the whole emotions that were going on. And also, and also another thing is, I took a picture and I posted it on social media, and. The, the, the feedback, the review from, from, from the public was, was really um, beyond what I was expecting. Yeah. yeah, so they did say a couple of things, you know, like, wow, not only was it beautiful, like, wow, okay, it really spoke. It really spoke, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to say I, I don't. <laughs> well, yet. I'm gonna put yet because this work is extremely amazing. Uh, but I think it's really, really valuable to, to own it because um, um, he really, he really makes sure that he puts so much detail in his work. And when you look at it from a distance, depending on the type of the type of technique he uses, it sometimes it kind of like looks like a print, and not even knowing that it's done uh, by charcoal or by paint. So. Um, it's definitely valuable to, to own it, I feel, because uh, of the time and the effort he puts in and really he makes sure that it's of good quality. And I think that's why um, you got a lot of corporates and a lot of buildings and offices that have his work because they see, they see the, quality and, uh, the quality and the small details that he puts in. Um, um, it's, it's really one of the most magnificent, uh, he's really one of the most magnificent artists, uh, uh, visual artists I've come across. And I would really, I would, I would soon own um, one of his pieces, yeah. So I say um, people should really go out there and try to, to, to get um, some of his work on their walls. Yeah, so it is worth it to own, yeah. <laughs>